Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a video uh, about Castle Link software and how to set up the new Mamba Monster X ESC I just got. I'm going to go through all the options and whatnot, but I will be focusing on explaining the new uh, Rock Race slash, slash Crawler mode that they came out with in firmware version 2.02. .02. So most, uh, I think it was listed somewhere here, but most ESCs have it now. It came out 2017. Some people are a little bit confused how it works, uh, and I'm just figuring it out too. So I'm hoping that this video will explain how to set it up because it's a great, uh, great feature for vehicles that are used for a variety of things. I'll be putting this in my Traxxas Summit, of course. Uh, it also has a low and high gear transmission so that just complements this even better because high gear can be rock race and low gear will be crawler mode so you download the software from the castle site i'm not going to show you how to do that because it's pretty self-explanatory maybe i'll put a link in the description uh, then you need a castle link uh, the actual castle link device you plug that into your speed controller, the three wires that you would normally plug in your receiver, and then you plug that into your computer. And then everything works. I'm used to having to mess around with firmware and drivers and COM ports and everything, but this is super easy. You just plug it in and everything works. Uh, it shows up with this little icon saying what ESC you have. So, you can see down here, USB is connected, device is linked, so we're good there. Here's just some miscellaneous settings, you can change the language if you want, but so we go to basic. Uh, you can set your cutoff voltage based on how many cells you have, or you can just put in auto lipo, which I'm going to do. Uh, and the other thing about Castle Link is these little green uh, circles, I guess, show you. Like, you click on them and they explain what's going on, so it's super well set up it's great software i'm quite impressed actually so auto lipo is uh where the controller will detect the amount of cells and it will set it to three volts per cell but i think you can change that down here um so yeah and it beeps the number of cells it counts so yeah anyway i'm not going to read through every setting here but we're going to be putting it on auto. I'm going to be leaving it at 3.2. Reverse type, we do want reverse. Um, for setting it up in the rock race slash crawler mode, the reverse type is the type of reverse you want in the rock race mode. Once you switch to crawler mode, it automatically has crawler reverse. So either select without reverse or in my case with reverse. Back voltage, I'm gonna leave at 5.5, I think. You yeah, I'll leave it at 5.5. Uh, I'm gonna disable idle beeps so it doesn't beep when you're just sitting around after every 10 seconds. I'm gonna just disable that. I won't be using the data log so it's gonna fill up whatever. I'm gonna disable that. I will leave the air beeps enabled. Okay, and the brake amount here is just for your normal braking. So I'm just gonna leave it at 50. That will also be in the uh, rock race mode. The crawler mode has, in, well, you can go from forward to reverse without braking and double tapping. So the drag brake here is the drag how much drag brake you want in rock race mode so in my case i think i might leave it at zero so if we look on the this page here for crawler mode this is pretty much well not quite but because i am putting reverse on but so if we put our drag brake at zero Crawler mode will be enabled whenever the auxiliary wire drag brake is above 0%, which I'm just going to set mine up as a two-position switch. 
so it will go from 0 to 100 so that works fine if you wanted like here this example 10 percent then you would put it to the uh, the drag break setting to 10 percent and then once you went above that with your switch you could be using a pot or a slider or whatever once you go above the drag break value that you put in that's when it switches to crawler mode well here they have great examples see rock race mode for this one 10 percent is this first well 0.1 milliseconds or whatever after that is when it switches to crawler mode so this will be mine everything the low end of the scale is rock race mode. Once I click the switch, it'll go straight to, well, probably two milliseconds and I'll be in crawler mode. And I'm fine with having no drag break in my rock race mode. If you do want drag break in your rock race mode, such as 50%, then you would set it, oops. Then you would set your drag break to 50%. And then once you go above that value, which in this case would be uh, 1.5 milliseconds pulse width or whatever, 50% on your scale, then it will switch to curly mode. So the drag break setting here is essentially, well here, I have a forum post from Robert at Calcic Creations. The switch point between the modes is set by the drag break setting. If you set it to 25% drag break, then below 25% you will get the reverse type. Over 25% you'll get crawler reverse. So, the reverse type is just, well I'm repeating myself now, but reverse type is just for the rock race mode. Uh, and then drag break is how much you want to be able to control in rock race mode. If you have a controller or remote where the auxiliary is on a switch, and you want to be able to adjust your drag break on the fly, this setting is the maximum setting you want in rock race mode before you transition to rock crawler mode. So you could go all the way to 90% and you could adjust it. You could stay in rock race mode and adjust your drag break from zero to 90%. But once you got to 91%, well, 90.0, 1% it would switch to rock race mode so for me I'm just going to leave it disabled but hopefully that explains it a bit more um, the rock back to all right the uh, the rock race mode acts like a normal vehicle forward brake reverse uh, no well selectable drag brake the crawler mode always has a hundred percent drag break and it has crawler reverse which is no braking you can switch from forward to back instantly i believe those are the only two major changes i'm not quite sure but um yeah hopefully that explains it a bit more so if you want to be able to have adjustable drag break in rock race mode set this to the maximum you want to adjust before you switch to crawler mode that's essentially what this comes down to so you still have to do some more stuff for your power I'm just gonna leave these settings I'm using a brush motor so I'm not even sure if all these apply uh, you do have to go to this advanced mode here uh, put on your auxiliary wire mode as rock race crawl mode and then it will then all these settings will work like I was talking before. So start power. Uh, I'm going to leave at low just because it's safe. Max power is 100. Sure. Whatever. Sounds good. Reverse percentage. I'm going to do 50 because that's safe. If you want, you can, well, you can pick whatever you want. Punch control is... I don't know. I'm just I'll I'll just leave it disabled. 
yeah, so that's kind of like starting, starting uh, power, I guess. I'm just going to, whatever, my finger will be the punch control. This motor test, uh, it's kind of in-depth and I won't be doing it, so we'll be leaving that advanced. Arming time, I'm actually going to... I'm going to leave it at 1.5 rock racer mode or rock race slash crawler mode. We talked about before link live is for sending back telemetry, I believe, which I won't be using. So we'll leave that disabled throttle dead band. Uh, yeah, we'll be leaving that average motor direction. We'll leave that normal for now. Motor type for me is brushed reversing for you. You probably want smart sense. So then, yeah, that the brush motor grays out some settings. Actually, I'm curious. Yeah, you still, oh yeah, start power can't be controlled with brushed, but you can still do punch control. So yeah, once you select brushed, you lose some of your options just due to the nature of the physical construction. So logging, I'm just gonna leave this page. It can log all this stuff and fill up its memory and whatever, I'm fine with that. Throttle curve, this is where you could do exponential uh, if your radio can't do it, your ESC can, which I'm just going to leave it linear. Brake curve, same thing. Uh, and this just kind of goes through, you can, if you're unsure what firmware your speed controller has, this will show you. You might have to, where did I do that? Yes, you can read settings. From your speed controller and then it should for sure tell you which firmware and which I guess ESC you have if you're unsure uh, here you can this last tab you can save current settings to file or load settings from a different file if you want to be swapping things out uh, or trying different configurations uh, and you don't want to set everything you can save it for easy access next time so yeah that's pretty much all I'm going to do uh, for now. Hope that explains it. So the last thing you want to do is just press update, which sends the settings to the device. Uh, so that'll save all the changes we made there. That's pretty quick. Update of setting complete. Okay. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I hope that explains the rock race and crawler mode. I'll be doing a video uh, after it's actually in my summit explaining well just showing how it works and everything and yeah i think that's all for now i made a video earlier on the hobby wing brushed speed controller i had or have still and it has a crawler well it essentially has crawler mode and rock race mode as well but you have to manually flip dip, sw dip the switches and do a power cycle in between so it's really only good for one or the other. With this, you can have both on the fly.